Well, the extraordinary dividend is a good example of how we are different. Well, have you ever heard of a customer at a bank uh, getting an extraordinary dividend uh, from their bank? It doesn't happen because they are just customers. Here, our customers are also our owners. You know, people ask me what it means to members. You know, that varies so much member to member. Uh, for some folks, it, it means being able to do something for themselves or for somebody in their life or doing something for an organization that they care about or a cause that they care about. And for other people, it really may just mean nothing more than um, this month, there's a little bit of extra room in the budget and a little less stress. Some of the stories that really stick out to me uh, are the ones that uh, say because of the timing of it, they say it, it's helped with providing gifts for the holidays that we didn't think we were able to do or maybe helped out with a family emergency or with some travel to see family. What it means to me is that I'm an owner. Before I owned any stocks of any companies, I was a SEFQ member. So it's kind of special when you're an owner and you know that organization has done great and the money that the organization's made, part of it's coming back to you based on how much you gave into the organization. The interest they pay to us on loans, the interest they earn on their savings, all that's used to calculate the dividend, so it gives us back that fair way of returning excess capital to our members. I get approached frequently. Uh, it seems to happen in grocery stores a lot, and they don't know me personally, and I, I don't usually know them, but uh, they will approach me and say thank you uh, for the extraordinary dividend, and I always chuckle a little bit at that because it, uh, it's really me that owes them thanks and our organization because of their choice of doing business with us.